Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my old bedroom, you probably don't recognize it, but I'm with Kate today, my sister. Um, and because when I'm with my sister, the oh. art side of me oh, just wow. comes out. I've been trying to get into illustration a little bit. I'm not the best, but I enjoy it. We both like judgment. art. judgment. Well, yeah, subjective, I guess. Yes. So I thought it would be fun to get creative today. And because I like movies as well, create, are based on some movies so a couple of movies what yeah. we're going to be doing is we've come up with five films each we don't know what the other person has picked for their five and we're going to pick one of each and then combine them together so you usually get like movie collaboration art in like the marvel world mm. or like loads of different horror films to combine into like an art piece but ours is just going to be picked out of a hat so we don't actually know whether it yeah. will go together but, but i think it's quite cool that it, it might not like clashes a bit because then you have to kind of think on the spot as well so what we're going to do is we're going to pick from her pot first yes and then from my pot it'll be interesting to see if like we pick the same like Gender. part of that film oh, okay yeah, yeah or that's if true. we have the same sort of concept or maybe completely different yeah but whatever it doesn't really matter there's no rules no just... there's no right or wrong they're not our five favorite they're just like five things ones we could think of off the top of our head. We're going to give each other about 10 minutes to research on the film because we might not know the film just to get some ideas yeah. and then about half an hour to do the actual art piece. Oh, These are picks, my ones so you have to pick the first one. Do I read it out straight away? You can do yeah. Okay. Hopefully you can read it. I'm quite scared. I don't know. Oh I know where it is already. <laughs> we have Tinkerbell from her pot. Is that just Tinkerbell in right in general or is that like is there a movie well there is a, there are quite a few movies on tinkerbell oh, okay. i love the movies i love how they like go like really mystical and really in depth with each characters and stuff into them but yeah there is obviously See, i don't even know that yeah but i know i know of tinkerbell obviously kate's quite maximalism yeah i quite like it when it's minimalist so it's like i focus more on like the lines and the details yeah. and stuff and I'm quite... So that would be quite cool to see, like... <laughs> like a story within mine. Oh, God, I'm just trying to think some of them that you might pick to go with Tinkerbell is a bit weird. But that's a good thing. Mm. <laughs> oh! Does it go? E.T. E.T.? Yeah. So that could go quite well, to be honest. Okay. Couldn't it? I guess the only problem then is you've got to make it obvious enough to be Which not what? just Tinkerbell. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that's cool. So we've got Tinkerbell and E.T. Oh, I've got some ideas actually. Oh, yeah. So on Ninkaboot's channel, um, she's going to show my stuff. So how I've like come up and created my art piece. And on my channel, I'm going to be showing her stuff, how she came up with the art piece. Obviously the final outcome you're going to see on both channels, but you're yeah. going to see how it was done and the process was made and how yeah. it all came. So we're going to have like around. half an hour to do it and we're going to show a time lapse of how we did it in that half an hour and like a voiceover. Yeah. Explaining yeah, yeah. how we did it. Okay, so let's get crafting creative. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, just like yeah, a little bit of a perfectionist, so I'm gonna be like stressing out. <laughs> you thought that's good. Because <laughs> you can't stress out because you only got half an hour. In this part of the video is showing how I do my art process of the collaboration of ET and Tinkerbell films combined. So I'll just talk you through what I do and how I come up with the final piece. So at the beginning I thought I was gonna use text within my artwork, so I used the text from ET and some text from Tinkerbell. Later on I changed this idea, but I'm always changing ideas as I'm going through them with my artwork. I just think it's a good way to sometimes work that you just, it kind of grows. So with this bit, of course, it's a phone box and with E.T. who wants to phone home. This being space of E.T. linking again and using different layering and it being more visible or less visible in the layering and montage effect and of course you have fairies because Tinkerbell being a fairy but you have to put them in there so I'm always working with like I say layering and erasing and showing the images underneath and working with sketch filters and things and colouring as you can see I'm adding more noise so it looks to me more like pixelated and like a painting kind of so I'm always working into the imagery and adding more layers and making it more depth. 
And with this, it being a map, because it links with the whole Tinkerbell and Neverland, having maps and things and compasses. I didn't want my art to be too in your face and using things that I thought was obvious, because I wanted it to be more that you had to kind of work out what films it was like related to. With this imagery, I wanted to use the pirate ship, because with Tinkerbell and Peter Pan, with the pirates and things. I wanted to use the compass sign in the top left corner as well. So I did duplicate this image and then I was just playing around with different ways that I could use the pirate ship. And then working out if I wanted to use a certain colour. And then with this area I wanted to put this in because it always says in Tinkerbell and Peter Pan about the first star to the right and then on to Neverland. This was linked to E.T. with the planets when he makes the planets fly around the room and stuff. And of course the moon, because E.T. and flying over the moon, you have to have the moon in there somewhere. And just playing around with visually how much you can see that layering. Um, with this bit I wanted to use the clock, again linking it to Tinkerbell and Peter Pan saying about how Captain Hook didn't want any time, that's why the Lost Boys and Peter Pan never get old because he smashes up all the clocks so there isn't any sense of time. So I nearly did use E.T.'s face but I thought that was too literal, I didn't bother using that in the end. So then I was just changing around the placement of the different layers to see what looked best and just using the eraser to put all the layers together. I was going to use this tree but I didn't in the end because I thought I wanted to make sure it was equal between E.T. and Tinkerbell. And then I was playing around with the colours again, making the moon have more texture and giving it more different colour. And then I was playing with the hue to make it pop and make it stand out a lot more because with my art at the moment I do this a lot. Um, it's the kind of style what I do at the moment. I put lots of layers on and make the hue pop out and then I erase some bits so it doesn't look so intense in certain areas. So this is the final piece of Razzadaz the art combined of Tinkerbell and E.T. film. Let me know what you think and do go and check out Nincompoop's art process as well on my video on how she makes her final piece. So we now finished both our fabulous art pieces. How did you find it? Uh, I went in really confidently and then um, when we when you were like 10 minutes left I was like... Because we basically had um, 10 minutes for research and then half an hour to make the actual art piece. I do normally try and do art pieces quite quickly just because I like challenging yourself. But once I know how long I've got I start panicking a little bit. And I hate that because I never feel finished and, it, and I will finish something in like two weeks. Because oh, I like doing things in short bursts, mm. but like on the same project, not like the next product project yeah. and the next burst. Yeah. Like, so you couldn't think about it too much. Basically. Was yours what you expected yours to be like? Well, at the moment, my art, I kind of just go with the flow. Well, I'm the opposite once again. <laughs> it's not as I imagined it, but some of it I winged, and it's a bit better than mm. I thought it would be. But in other areas, it's worse. Okay, Are you ready? ready? Three, two, two one. one. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Oh. Yours looked like it would have taken hours. Like, I love the placement of everything. Is that a telephone box? Yeah, it's ET. Oh. So there's a bit of underlying stuff, like any of my work. The time, because going back to Tinkerbell, the compass, Tinkerbell, the planets, of course, ET, phone box, ET. Moon E.T., obviously Fairy, Tinkerbell, um, linking it with a lot of maps. Mine's a lot more obvious, like, <laughs> in your face. That's cute though. Aww. They're oh, collaborating. They're so different, aren't they? I know. I like it. I like that they're so different. And a com compass as well. Yeah, How different that is. Yeah, they are really different. <sighs> yeah, we'll change some bits. Yeah, I'm not happy with his hand. I mean, his hand looks a bit... Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> there is some stuff hidden when you see it being made in the background as well. 
because there were some bits, oh, I didn't do that in the end. I was going to do something, but I did in the end. Yeah, well, we've said this before, but I like basic stuff. Basic um, I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> no, you're not a basic bitch. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. We did good for, like, the challenge if, of two things and half an hour. Well, let us know in the comment box if you think they're really cool. Or, or really shit. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, let us know in the comment box what you think about this and if there's any other challenges or art challenges you think we could give a go. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know which ones you like, what's your favourite, what's your form of like art? Do you go for the more colourful, bright maximalism or do you like it stripped back, simple, plain? Do you like pe drawing people or animals? Everyone's got their own little thing. That's true. If you want to see Kate's channel, which is more based around content like this, so if you liked this, if you thought it was quite refreshing for my channel, then check hers out because her channel is basically a lot of focused art around stuff. art mostly. Yeah. yeah. Anything to do with art, I try it out and stuff. I did a video on Bob Ross doing mm -hmm. an art piece, like trying to paint like him, but digitally, basically. Mm -hmm. You can subscribe to me <laughs> to be notified when I make videos on my social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I do tarot readings if you want to book one. And that is all. See you Aww. next time on my next video. Yeah. Bye. I'm flying. <laughs>